dear students a warm welcome to our online classes myself k r ravi kumar lecturer in computer science gsi pu college mysore let us start our online classes with chapter 1 fundamentals of computer the weightage of this chapter is 8 students in this chapter you are going to learn the basic definition of computers what are the applications of computers and history of computers generation of computers and different types of computers you might have learned all this basic of computers in your junior classes isn't it from standard 1 onwards all institution they are going to start computer education let us start discussing this chapter with introduction introduction to computer everybody is heard of computers isn't it see is there anybody who has not heard of computer so far no chance computer education will start from standard 1 onwards so everybody is aware of the word computer and they might have used computer at different levels it is a part and parcel of our life part and parcel of our life so what is the meaning of this the meaning of this one is we are using computers in almost all fields in our life you take example like in the field of education in the field of education in the field of business in the field of business in the field of science and technology in the field of science and technology in government offices and in your corporate sectors okay so if you look at this example you will come to know how important computer is so we are using computers in almost all different field now you take in the field of education now as i told just now the computer education is starting from standard 1 onwards education to train students and we are using computers in for different applications similarly in the field of business what is the meaning of business nowadays you are familiar with online shopping isn't it it's called e-commerce we are using it similarly in the field of science and technology isn't it we are using the computer in the field of research and development activities we are using it not only that even in all our government offices and and also in our private companies or big corporate sectors see so very 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 using computers and not only that small provision shop they will provide you with the bill that is computerized bill and if you go to any of the medical shop then they will also provide you a computer generated bill so that is why the computer is is involving so much in our life so that we are feeling that without computer it is very difficult for for us to do but not only this we also use computer in the field of communication what is communication is we are communicating with other people through email services or with the social media it also provide good career opportunities means those who are computer literate or those who are very well versed with the computer they will be placed in a very good company or it will be absorbed by very good corporate companies it is also playing a very important role in our life now let us understand the what is the definition of computer so what is a computer it is an electronic device it is 
an electronic device perform task based on the instructions based on the instructions given so what is the definition of a computer a computer is nothing but is electronic device is a device and it perform task nothing but it perform task or calculations it perform task or calculation based on the instructions given as computer is a machine is a device so someone has to instruct computer the meaning is so we are, someone has to write a program to do a specific job someone has to write instructions in the form of programs to perform specific task that is the definition of a computer so generally it is nothing but a data processing it is nothing but a data processing device it is a data processing device first we have to input or we have to send some data to the computer so with the help of this data computer does some calculations or it perform some task and it gives us the results so this is called as data processing cycle or that is why we call it as it is a data processing unit data processing cycle cycle it involves three steps one is input second is process next one is output so first step is we have to input the data here what we do is it here here we have to input the data so what is a data it data is nothing but raw facts we say data is nothing but raw facts that is before processing before the step what we have to input to the computer is called data so we have to input data for example suppose i want to add two numbers for example 3 and 4 so here 3 plus 4 this is processing this is processing and it produce it gives us A result this answer is 7 so this is your output so this cycle is called data processing cycle so here it involves three steps input process output so we user or we have to enter the value or data depending on our process or application then computer with the help of instructions or the programs written it does the calculation suppose if i have written a program for addition of two numbers it it add these two numbers and it gives us the result 7 so so this is one suppose i want to find simple interest now if i want to find simple interest i have to enter value for ptr principal time and rate and what is the process with the help of formula all of you know what is the formula ptr by 100 so this is nothing but you are processing our, our formula so with the help of this formula computer gives us some result here simple interest so th- together we can say it is a data processing cycle that is why we say computer is nothing but that a data processing processing unit data processing unit after this let us discuss what are the characteristics of computer system computers they are speed memory accuracy 
versatility versatility automation automation diligence diligence cost effective cost effective so these are the characteristics of computers now let me explain these characters one by one now the first character is speed so what is the meaning of speed the meaning of the term speed is the computer system processes the data very fast very fast as compared to human beings so we, because of this we get the result we get the result very fast it processes the as the computer processes the data very fast we will get the result at the same time means it's very fast so what is the meaning of this here process the data meaning but it process the instructions given if i say computer instructions given at very fast rate here if i say fast rate we are talking about of milliseconds millisecond so that is the reason we say that computer is or it does the work at fast rate in terms of millisecond and moreover it all these this, as it is electronic device it works on the electrical signals or electrical pulse so that is the reason it does the work very fast the human being takes one day to complete the work given to him and if you compare that if you compare that with the computer system the same work it can be completed within hours of time so that is the meaning of computer does the work very fast now let us go to next character computer memory computer memory normally in computer we use memory unit to store data it used to store data and instructions and intermediate results etc the main purpose of this device is to store in for data instructions and results so if you talk if you talk about computer memory system here there are two types of memory unit that is one is called primary memory one is called primary memory and second one is called secondary memory secondary memory so what is primary memory primary memory is a small memory with limited if i say small it is a limited memory and it is used to store data temporarily and that is the reason that's why i told you it is you this memory is used to store intermediate results so and it is also no it is this memory is also called as a volatile memory what is the meaning of volatile memory the data or information is given or stored in the in this primary memory is available as long as the computer system is on once the system computer system is shut down or it is off the data stored in the primary memory will be erased or cleared so that is the meaning of it is volatile memory now if you look into the secondary memory why we are looking for secondary memory as i told you this primary memory is a limited memory suppose if i want to store large amount of data 
in that case that only primary may not sufficient is not enough for us it may not be sufficient so we have to go for secondary memory the secondary memory is is used to store a vast data and not only that it is a non volatile memory the meaning of non volatile is even though your computer is switched off the data will be stored here it will be remain as it is permanently as long as you delete by yourself that is the meaning of the secondary memory or non volatile memory the computer memory stores the instructions in the form of in the form of bits and bytes bits and byte what are bits and bytes these are zeros and one are bits and what is a byte a group of bit is forms a byte and here these zero and one are called bits and byte they are binary numbers they are binary numbers so computers store the information in the form of bits and bytes or in the form of binary number what is the unit of computer memory here the unit of computer memory is we are talking about bits or byte mb nowadays we are talking about mb or gigabyte or terabyte tb see all these are nothing but units of computer memory now if you look in that memory we talk about 4 gb or we talk about 1 terabyte 500 gb so that is the unit of memory system so this is the memory unit now let us move on to one more character accuracy students what is the meaning of accuracy the meaning is it does the work accurately with minimum errors or without any errors because computer is a machine as already you have learned in the definition it works on the instructions given by the user or the programmer so it works exactly how the program is written or how it has been programmed if it has been programmed properly or correctly we will get the proper result without any mistakes or error so suppose if anything wrong in uh, minimum results or the information then it is not a mistake of a computer it is a mistake of a a program or instructions given so that has to be corrected so here generally we say that computer never do any mistakes as long as the instructions or program is proper next we move on to one more character versatility what is the meaning of versatility the computer it perform it perform different types of different types of task or different types of work the meaning is same computer i can program it for different application i repeat so what is versatility versatility is nothing but the same computer can be programmed in such a way so that it does a different types of work based on the instructions given to it that is the meaning of versatility so i it it doesn't mean that i need to have a different computer for different types of task that is not possible generally so what is the versatility same computer or one computer can be used for different types of work based on the programs given or based on the instructions given to it now let us move on to one more character automation automation so what is the meaning of the term automation the meaning is it is an automatic machine nothing but automatic machine for example if there are thousands of instructions given to it for a task so computer completes 
a set all these set of instructions given at that time. Now let us move on to the next character diligence. So what is the meaning of the word diligence? Diligence is the is nothing but computer work continuously for long time and it is free from human tiredness. So what is the meaning of free from human tiredness? As we are human beings, we cannot do work continuously for long time. Suppose if we do it for one hour, we may require some rest. Isn't it? Similarly, but if you look at the computer, because it is an electronic device, electronic machine, it was continuously for long time, for more number of hours, without taking any rest in between. So, it completes the task and stops working. So, that is the meaning of the word diligence. And next, we move on to one more character that is cost effective. Is cost effective. Cost effective is nothing but it reduces paperwork, it reduces paperwork and also human efforts. Human efforts. So nowadays we are, it is very cost effective because Nowadays, everything is paperless. We are talking about a paperless office. So we are using entire, we are depending entirely on the computer system. We store all data, everything in the computer's memory so that we are minimizing the usage of paper. Similarly, at the same time, the human efforts, human efforts in maintaining or working everything has been reduced so these are the different characteristics of computer system so let me stop at this stage i will come back to you with my next session thank you very much